Right, 31 March 2020, and uh, last night, the President of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa, announced one of the most comprehensive security operation, what I can call a, a military operation, which has ever been undertaken in Southern Africa. So, 18,000 security officers are going to be supporting 10,000 field officers to go door by door in South Africa starting this week in a second phase of the lockdown where they will be checking for coronavirus and carrying out what I assume to be other security operations. I explained last week that the lockdown is coming to South Africa at a very heavy price. The South African economy is paying a heavy price for this lockdown. And the government of South Africa is not just going to end at keeping you in your house. The government of South Africa is going to use this operation to achieve other objectives. And many people, especially the people from Zimbabwe, were not happy with what I said. That this operation is also going to be used for security, for immigration, control, and for other purposes, such as checking for crime. So, let me explain in a bit more detail. South Africa has got a lot of people who are not supposed to be in the country. We are talking here of between 4 million and 5 million people. That is about 10% of the population is illegally in the country. These people are putting pressure on services. That is, they put pressure on education, they put pressure on housing, they put pressure on healthcare, and they also strain the police because most of the people who are committing crime, if they cannot be identified, then the police have to work harder. So the South African government has been working on this problem for a very, very long time. How do we clean up our country? so that the resources that are in our country fit or match with the people or the citizens of our country. What I've just said, no one can deny it. There is no country that wants to support invisible people. So you must understand that this is a government program. The government wants to clean up. They want the resources or the taxpayers' funds to go only to citizens. So, if you're coming from outside the country and you think you can live in a country without documentation, using the services, your, your child going to school here in, in this country, in a public school, increasing the number of kids in the class, that won't work. That is because the government is working against a falling economy. The economy is not doing well. So, an opportunity like this lockdown will never come again. So there will be no other time when the whole country is locked down and everyone is sitting in their house. So this is the only opportunity the South African government has got to deal with the issues of illegal immigration, the issues of crime. If they deal with those issues, when South Africa comes out on the other side, it will be a better country according to them. So what you are going to expect to see, as I predicted last week, is that as field officers start going door to door, especially in high density areas where a lot of people live, the operation will be on one side a coronavirus operation and on another side a security check. If you are going to be found and you've committed a crime, you are going to be taken away. If you are going to be found and you do not have documentation to live in the country, you are going to be taken away. Those two things, you must expect them. And it's only logical that when a soldier comes to your house and a policeman comes to your house and they find out that they're not supposed to be where you are or you've committed a crime, they're going to take you away. So this operation is too prompt. It is going to be a coronavirus lockdown operation, but at the same time, it is going to be a security operation where the targets will be specifically the people that are uh, undocumented, and also people who have committed crimes. And I expect to see a lot of arrests 
during that period when this door-to-door -door operation is taking place. So I received a lot of calls from people from Zimbabwe saying, do you think that they're going to do such a thing? We've got human rights. Do you think that they'll be able to carry us all away? All I can tell you is that if you're in a country illegally, you should be working very, very hard to make sure that you get your, your documentation. If you make 10,000, you must make sure that you take that 10,000 and work on formalizing your documentation so that when police ask you, when immigration ask you, when home affairs ask you, you've got the documents that are needed. So expect that very comprehensive security operation with 28,000 people, uh, that is 10,000 field officers and 18,000 security, which is security when we talk of the army, we talk of metro, and we're, I, I think we're also talking about home affairs and other people in there. However, I think the number is too small. I don't think 18,000 people will be able to conduct door-to-door -door operations in the whole of South Africa where there are 50 million people in a short space of time. So I, I foresee an increase of the number of people that are going to be carrying out, especially the, the soldiers. There will be a lot. And also, I expect the use of technology. I won't be surprised if they, they will be applying technology such as drones when they are carrying out operations to see that no one is running away or no one is escaping the net. Because the advantage of a lockdown is that you are sitting in one place, you can't move. If you move, they'll find you on the road and you'll be caught. So this is going to be a very comprehensive period and expect a lot of other things to happen during the time when there's this door-to-door -door operation. What are the key risks during this operation? I think it's a bit risky to take people from one house to another when there's a, an outbreak. So let's see how they do this. Because if someone is testing someone with coronavirus, if they leave this house and go and test at another house, they, there's a possibility that they could cause an infection. They can carry an infection from one house to another. So this is the situation. In summary, the president of South Africa has announced that there has been a slight increase in the number of coronavirus cases. I think it's now slightly above 1,300. They want to trace other people who came into contact with those 1,300. They'll be going to door to door with 10,000 field officers who will be tracing those people who came into contact with those people. But as I said, I personally think that the South African government is going to use this opportunity to carry out other comprehensive security operations such as checking for crime, moving people, as we said last week, moving squatter camps to moving people in squatter camps to other areas and also checking for illegal immigrants and criminals. So these operations are going to be supported by the army because the police themselves, by themselves, they won't be able to do it without the support of the army. For example, if you go to Cape Town, there's the issue of gangsterism. Right now, as you speak, everyone is sitting in their house. I'm going to... My expectation is that when they go house to house, they will obviously be worried that someone will come out and shoot at them. So they'll also be looking for people with illegal firearms. So there is going to be a bigger objective to this whole operation. And don't expect to see it announced on a document. Like a guy called me and said, do you have any document where they say that? They won't write that in the document. They are just going to see it happening. And the construction of the fence at Bay Bridge is continuing, which means if you are deported from South Africa now, it's not going to be easy for you to jump through the fence. You have to pass through the Bay Bridge border and deal with corrupt officials. And I am sure that the corrupt officials are going to be dealt with. The issues of immigration are going to be much, much more focused on by the government going forward. Because if they don't, if the South African government does not use this opportunity, what will happen is that they will just have wasted people's 21 days. And I don't think they're going to do that. They're going to take this opportunity to make sure that they clean up the country so that on the other side, 
you've got a cleaner country, you've got less issues coming out. Because South Africa is going to go through one of the most difficult economic periods. They've just been downgraded. South Africa has just been downgraded to junk last week. This economy is going to go through one of the worst periods. Unemployment is going to go higher and people won't be able to pay their debts. After this, a lot of retrenchments, a lot of company closures. So look out for a bit of a tough time if you've been in South Africa and you do not have the required documents or you've committed crime or you're just that person that don't want to be seen or be in near to police. This is going to be a very difficult time because as long as the army is supporting the police, other operations are going to take place to clean up. Right, so this is what I wanted to say today. I'm going to come back later tonight. We're doing a summary of coronavirus key highlights every day. Please, when you get that document, when you get that video, send it to as many people as possible because I know many people are in the raw areas who want to keep them informed. Right, thank you very much for watching. Please send this video to as many people as possible if you are receiving it on WhatsApp. And please like, comment and share if you're watching on YouTube and Facebook. Thank you very much.